Hi everyone. We just got done playing Uno. We did a video about that. It's kind of dumb. Ashley, don't yell at me. I didn't want to play Uno all night. Two rounds. That's all night. I didn't want to do Besides, I'm going to bed. Because I have to get up at like 6. Or probably earlier than that. So, we are going to be doing the trying to speak Spanish challenge kind of thing. So, uh, we got this requested by, I'll put his name here, underscore Francisco Busto. Sorry if I said it wrong. So, what they said is to do a good, it would be a good video to try to imitate different accents of Spanish, such as the Ecuadorian accent, then the Colombian and Mexican, etc. So, we aren't trying to be mean to any, um, Really I mean, like we're not trying to imitate. We're not trying to be or racist or anything. Mean, mock yeah, so. we're not trying to be mean. We're just trying to do this for fun. I'm yeah, sorry. It's just a challenge. Um, if we, it does offend you, I am sorry. We did not try to offend you in any way. Okay. So, I took two years of Spanish already. Um, I'm Ashley's taking German. I don't have a very good Spanish accent. You know, what? we should try um, doing some German too while we're at it. Can do a German video. So like we're both um, from America and we don't really have we have the like American accent, not um no Spanish accent. So. so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get like a video um a video like a Spanish speaking tutorial video so that we can like try to learn from it. Um If, um, if it will load. Yeah, there's bad connection here. Everything was fine, just like a million like that. Yo quiero una hamburguesa. Amburg hamburguesa. Okay. Don't ask me if you're saying it right. I don't even know what you're I saying. I think the H's are silent. Oh, uh, yeah. Hamburguesa. Hamburguesa. It's not loaded. Das Mädchen. Trick Das Lawa Poli on. What am I saying? <laughs> what am I saying? Um the girl Me? is yeah. No. The girl is wearing a blue hoodie. I want a hamburger. Is that what you said? Mm hmm day we're gonna go hunting tomorrow yeah she barely is going she's going around 12 who goes around new language learning system okay get up to 30 percent off basic premium and premium plus yes. want to speak real spanish from your first lesson sign up for your free lifetime account at spanishpod101.com Welcome to SpanishPod101.com. Español en tres minutos. The fastest, easiest. They might load a couple of times. Okay, guys, we have like really bad service here. But you're interrupted, but got them. I have a really bad Spanish accent, though. I can't. Ashley can roll her R's. Say, um, rojo. Rojo? Yeah. Rojo. I should have taken Spanish. You should have. It's fine. It's not fine. Rojo. That's Rojo. Red. red. Fun way to learn Spanish. Hola, soy Lucia. Mucho Hola. Gusto. Hi, I'm Lucia. Nice to meet you. Hola. In this series, we are going to learn basic Spanish phrases. It's super easy and it only takes three minutes. Mm. In this lesson, you are going to learn how to introduce yourself in Spanish. Mm. You will be surprised Hola. at how easy Soy it is. Brooke. 
Are you ready? Listen again to my introduction. Hola, soy Lucia. Mucho gusto. Hola, Hi, I'm Lucia. Nice gusto. to meet you. Hola, soy Hola, Ashley. Soy Mucho Lucia. Gusto. Mucho gusto. Hola, soy... The first word is hola, Hola. which means hi or hello. After that comes soy, which means I am. Hola, soy, and then your name. Hola, Hola. soy Lucia, means hi, I'm Lucia. Hola, soy soy mucho gusto, which means nice to meet you. So So all together it is. Hola, Hola, soy soy Lucia, Lucia. mucho Mucho gusto. gusto. Hi, I'm Lucia, nice to meet you. It's Hola, a polite and common way Ashley. to greet someone. Mucho gusto. There is also another way to say your name. Instead of soy Lucia, you could say me llamo Lucia. Me llamo, me llamo literally means I call myself. Me llamo but we Ashley. use it to mean my name is. Hola, Hola me, me llamo, llamo Lucia. Brooke. Mucho gusto. Hola, me llamo Hi, my name is Lucia, Brooke. nice Mucho to gusto. meet you. Hola, me Hola, llamo Brooke. Mucho me gusto. Llamo Lucia. That's in a song. Mucho gusto. Again, let's take a look at these two ways to introduce yourself. Hola, soy Lucia. Mucho gusto. Hi, I'm Lucia. Nice to meet you. Hola, me llamo Lucia. Mucho gusto. Hi, my name is Lucia. Nice to meet you. Now it's time for Lucia's insights. People in Spanish-speaking countries greet each other by shaking hands. By depending on the situation, we often kiss each other on the cheek. So don't be surprised if this happens to you. In the last lesson, we learned how to introduce ourselves in Spanish. That's all you do. We're good. going to learn how to yeah. use good manners as we thank good people. Good manners. Están listos? Are you ready? Empecemos. Let's start. There are several ways to thank someone. Let's start with the easiest. It's just one word. Gracias. 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 Thank you. Gracias. Say thank you very much. You just need to add muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. For a simple thanks, gracias will be enough. If you want to say more than just thanks, muchas gracias is good to use. Now, how do you respond to thank you in Spanish? It's easy. The most common easy. way to say you're welcome is de nada. De nada. De, de nada. nada. De Why nada. do I feel like I've heard this? Nada. Nada. Dora. It's nothing. So, de nada <laughs> de literally nada. means it's nothing. So, we use it to mean you're welcome. De nada. De so, nada. when someone says gracias to you, you can simply Ready? reply say with de nada. Gracias. De nada. Now, it's time to say gracias. Inside. Gracias. De nada. If you're not sure about whether to use gracias or muchas gracias, Keep it simple, it's always your safest bet. You don't have to worry about formal or informal situations. Gracias can be used with just about anyone, anywhere, and at any time. In the last lesson, we learned how to show thanks by saying gracias. In this lesson, we will learn some of the most common greetings used in Spanish. ¿Están listos? Are you ready? Empecemos. Ready? Let's start. <laughs> She's starting to load. Okay, let's, let's do it. Let's do our introduction. Okay. Hola. Hola. From Mexico. <laughs> Hola, soy Ashley. Mucho, mucho gusto. Hola, soy Brooke. Mucho gusto. The most used informal greeting Gracias. is hola. 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 hola means hi or hello. We hola. can use it in formal and hola, informal soy situations. Dora. At any time of day, it's very convenient. Hola. Hola. Now, let's look at some greetings that are used at certain times of day. First really? is good morning. Good morning in Spanish is buenos dias. Buenos dias. Buenos, buenos dias. dias. Buenos, buenos good dias morning. literally means good yeah, day, good but we use good it to morning. mean good morning. Good morning. Buenos the dias. Day, we say buenos dias. Buenas tardes. Buenos tardes. tardes. Buenas tardes means tardes. good afternoon. Buenas this can tardes. be used all day as buenas long tardes. as it's light outside. Tardes. Again, buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. When it she starts to get buenos dark, tar- you can switch tardes. to this. Buenas noches. Buenos buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches means good evening or good night, buenos depending noches. on the situation. If you're greeting someone in the evening, it means good evening. If you're speaking to someone before you go to sleep, it means good night. Again, 
that's buenas, buenas noches. Noches. Buenas noches. Now, you can greet people in many different ways in Spanish. Let's review them all again. As a general greeting, hola. Buenos dias. In the buenos morning, tardes. buenos dias. Buenos dias. In the afternoon or during the day, buenos dias. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. In the evening or at night, buenas, buenas noches. noches. Pretty easy, right? Pretty easy, Now it's huh? time for Lucia's insights. If you're not sure which greeting Hi. is right to use, buenos dias, buenas tardes, or buenas noches, just remember that all that can be used at any time of day. In the last lesson, we learned the most common greeting in Spanish. Do you remember them? In this lesson, we're going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak is English? She missing a tooth? If you're in a situation where you need help in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. Here is a formal way to say it. Habla inglés. Habla, Habla inglés. Habla inglés. Do you speak English? The word habla is a form of the verb hablar, habla which means español. to speak. This is the habla formal español. way to say Nine. to speak. Hablar is known as a AR verb because it ends in AR. Most AR verbs conjugate in a similar way. To learn how to properly conjugate AR verbs, like hablar, please check out our Absolute Beginner series on SpanishPort101.com. Now, let's make this sentence informal. This is done by adding an S to the end of habla. When we do that, we get hablas. All together, hablas inglés, hablas inglés. This is the informal way to ask, do you speak English? The All right, let's end this video and show them our skills. Three. All right. Si, hablo okay. inglés. Nice to meet you, meet you, meet you. Hola, soy Brooke. Buenos dias. Hola, soy Ashley. Mucho gusto. Hola, me llamo Brooke. Oh, hola, me llamo Ashley. Excuse me. Buenas noches. You look creepy, go away. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want more to be a subscriber of the week. You must follow follow us on Instagram. Share this to three friends. And comment down below that you're done. Woo! Bye.